So this is another bit of hunting footage from the archives. It was filmed a number of years ago and I probably was holding on to the footage to use in a DVD but never used it. It's filmed in a farm you've seen me shoot on before and uh, I've had relatively good success on and off and uh, this day was fairly good so uh, I had kept the footage again possibly using a DVD but I've had far better days than this now and uh, far better footage. But after setting up in the cattle sheds, it wasn't too long before I got my first opportunity at a jackdaw at about 25 yards away. And dropped him cleanly into the feed trough. I noticed that the cows were nosing it about, so uh, I decided to walk over and lift it. Now not everything around a farmyard is deemed as a pest or vermin that must be controlled. This little chaffinch doesn't really do any harm at all. Plus it's protected so uh, I leave it well alone. But it's not long before another jackdaw arrives. This time on the uh, roof of the shed. And I managed to take him with a nice heart shot. Again, I decided to go forward and lift the bird, as the sight of it lying there usually puts other jackdaws or rooks off coming into the yard and giving me an opportunity for a shot, which seems to be the opposite way around to magpies and crows, who have a curiosity with other dead birds and will often be attracted and land beside recently shot birds, which can give you another opportunity or two for a shot. I did notice that the birds were starting to come into the far side of the shed and land in the gates in the distance. So I moved position when I saw the hooded crow and then used the wall behind me to help steady my shot and took him with a headshot at about 35 yards. This seemed to put the rest of the birds into a wee bit of a tizzy. But after that was over I decided to walk over and lift the crow had shot. They were all feeding in the uh, spilt silage on the spuds lying um, outside of the trough. Now you can't blame it all on the farmer as the cattle have a bad reputation of nosing what they don't like in the trough out of the way to try and get it the nice tip bits of meal and uh, potatoes and other root crops through into the uh, trough to uh, help substitute their diet. So after I'd left at the crow I decided to set up in a, an adjacent shed which gave me a, a better vantage point over the area the birds were feeding and landing. And after a bit of a wait it wasn't uh, too long before the birds started to come back down again. There seems to be a mixture of rooks and jackdaws mainly. Now the rooks are a much bigger, stronger bird and I really was looking to try and take a headshot as uh, I wasn't confident a hard shot would drop him on the spot. But his head wasn't sitting still enough, but once this uh, jackdaw landed, it was a much lighter built bird, and uh, I took him by a nice shot to the heart and lungs. He didn't know what hit him. So once the rest of the birds had settled down, I walked forward and lifted the uh, jackdaw I just shot. As uh, again, the body sitting there would probably put the other birds off from uh, landing in the gate and that. And after a bit more of a wait, they started coming back again. Now I'm honestly not sure what happened here. I had four birds in front of me. I 
think I was concentrating on the rook through the scope and waiting for him to pause his head in the right spot when I probably could have had a shot off at one of the jackdaws to the right hand side. They were sitting pretty there with their heads still. But before the uh, shot was released, the birds uh, finally wised up and uh, cleared off. But there's plenty more about and it wasn't long before I got another opportunity. Again I went for a heart and lung shot but even with a well placed shot the bird still had enough energy or whether it was adrenaline to uh, run a few yards to the right hand side. Thinking I had wounded a bird I went forward to try and retrieve it and found it lying stone dead just out of sight. The shot was perfect, struck him straight in the chest. The birds were still flying about and still keen and feeding so it wasn't too long before uh, I got another opportunity at a jackdaw. Again I went for a heart and lung shot and somehow it got back up into the air after hitting the ground and flew off around the corner. So I went to look for it, this time I was fairly confident I had only wounded the bird but no that was lying stone dead just out of sight. This was one of the reasons why I usually took headshots in the past but uh, in this sort of circumstance the bird don't usually give you enough time for a headshot and that's why I started into the heart and lung shots again. But with six birds for my efforts I was still pleased.